Hey guys, it's Chris with Not The Real World. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a chicken on a chain clouser. Uh, this is a variation off of my Buffalo Soldier. Um, pretty much the same thing, but just tied with bucktail instead of uh, Arctic Fox fur or Buffalo hair. Or Finnish Raccoon. Uh, this is an excellent fly. Um, I call it the chicken on a chain clouser, which is actually the color combo of it, which is olive over pearl or white uh, with a chartreuse tail um, and some red. Uh, copper and black flash in there um, but this uh, fly can be tied in just about any color combo you want this is an exceptionally effective pattern in the chesapeake bay uh, here in virginia for stripers redfish sea trout and flounder um, works all over though but um all right let's get to it okay so we got a really simple materials list uh, we just have an olive and a white bucktail uh, we have our hook we've got dumbbell eyes We've got our uh, polar chenille, um, which is just here in pearl. Also some flash. Uh, this is the copper crinic. I also have a couple strands of red and black as well here with me. Um, and it's a really easy fly to tie. So I'm going to go ahead here and put on some eyes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the hook. Uh, just any standard saltwater hook would work. This is a Mastod. Uh, 34007. Uh, this is a size 2, which is about the normal size I use in the bay um, for croaker, redfish, sea trout, stripers, uh, you name it, they love it. Um, a 2, a 1, a 1 odd, any of that stuff will work. Um, oh, I forgot the last uh, uh, material, I'm sorry, is actually going to be craft fur. I'm sorry about that. Uh, in chartreuse. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to go ahead and put these eyes on. Uh, just like you would a standard clouser or half and half. Um, this fly is a great substitute for a half and half and it will last a little bit longer as you're using the craft fur instead of feathers. Um, they don't, aren't as brittle and get beat up after so many fish. Okay, got my eyes on. I'm going to wrap the thread back to the bend there. Uh, it's going to be in between the point and the barb on this hook in particular. I'm going to take my brushable super glue and I'm going to put this over the thread wraps on the eyes to do my best to lock this in. Um, and again, this fly is a version of my Buffalo Soldier, which I'll have a video up of that as well. You guys can check that one out if you'd like. Uh, essentially substitutes the bucktail for um, uh, Finnish raccoon or Arctic fox or any of those softer uh, materials or natural hairs that flow in the water really well uh, or buffalo hair as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a chunk of uh, craft fur, uh, cut that off, um, and go ahead and get this under fur out of it. This is going to be the tail of the fly. This particular color combo, chicken on a chain, is a chartreuse tailed grub um, and that grub has an olive back on it and then a, a pearl or white bottom and there are flecks of copper red and black throughout it it's a really cool looking uh, color combo and it is the top of color colors I would say in the Chesapeake Bay um, out of anything that I've fished out there Let's go ahead and tie in this uh, this craft fur, I'm going to do it all the way down the body to the back of the eyes, kind of get an even body on there. And I'm going to go ahead and take my polar chenille here, tie the end of it in. Um, one thing I do like to do, you might have seen some other videos, is take this glue because I like to make tough flies that last. I'm going to run that along the top here so it can help glue down this material, the chenille, as I wrap it. Um, and as you wrap it, you want to go ahead and make sure you're folding those fibers back to create that streamlined body and not let any of it get wrapped up underneath. Going right there. Just 
continuing to wrap this up up the body all the way right behind the eyes and make a few good wraps behind the eyes can go ahead and tie down that material go ahead and snip that Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom, uh, white bucktail, just like a clouser. Get the little under fibers, under fur, shorter fibers out. You go ahead and lay it out. I don't want it to go all the way back to the back of the tail, maybe halfway between this chenille and the end of the craft fur. Pretty good length in there. Wrap it down behind the eyes. You're just gonna have a little collar of thread like you would on a clouser. Wrap forward. Go ahead and wrap that. There's butts down. Uh, one little trick is you can actually pull these butts up and wrap about 10 or 15 of them back. Um, each time. What this does is this locks in these butts and kind of forms a mohawk. Again, I am pulling these butts back, some of them, and then wrapping in front of them. And what that does is it really locks the hair in so you don't ever have it falling out. I don't know if you guys have ever tied a clouser or you don't tie the hair in well enough and it comes out. This will not allow this hair to come out. It also makes a really nice little neat mohawk. You can clip this off. And pop it in there. There we go. Might be a little bit fatter head than I usually do, but oh well, fish won't really care. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of flash. So I've got some red and some black in here. Gonna go ahead and just kind of tie this in. I've already got these pieces laid out. Okay, and I'll do a little bit of copper, to make it look like that grub color combo that is so effective in the bay with the spin fishermen. And then we do our olive bucktail. This is a light olive I've got here. Any color olive generally will work. I've tied this darker as well. I just kind of like this light olive for whatever reason. Measure it out where you want it to lay to match the white. Lay it down. Let me go ahead and get some wraps. Again, I'm going to take 10 or 15 butts, fold them up, wrap a couple wraps in front of them, which is going to lock it in. Make a nice tapered head. Hopefully, that's the point. I didn't do this head all that well, but it'll work. This is a great substitute. This fly is for a half and half. You can get a little bit longer, fuller body uh, than your standard clouser. Um, the flash on the side of the fly looks like the flash of the side of a bait fish when they're swimming through the water. Um, and then you've got all those butts you just kind of wrap down. Um, just make a nice, neat head here. I did a poor job of that on this fly in particular. I didn't leave enough room, but you all get the point. Gonna go ahead and whip finish. And then I will take head cement, 
brushable super glue or whatever is your preference for putting on here. Uh, and I will also do that on the back side of this right in here uh, of those buck of the bucktail and on that little collar I'll throw over a lot of oyster beds and stuff will get torn up and come apart. Just give it a little bit extra protection there. And that right there is a chicken on a chain clouser. Thanks for watching.